observe the pictures and answer the questions which is heavier this sack is heavier than the bag which is lighter the chair is lighter than the table now let us compare the three objects this book is heavy this book is heavier and this book is the heaviest arrange the objects from lightest to heaviest the sparrow is light the crow is heavier the eagle is heaviest the stool is light the chair is heavy and the table is the heaviest the cork is light the cricket ball is heavy the football is the heaviest the cat is light the dog is heavy and the horse is the heaviest Now we shall learn how to actually weigh an object. Look at these two children playing on a seesaw. The side which goes downwards has the child with more weight on it. The other side which goes upwards has the child with less weight on it. likewise we use a balance to compare or measure the weights of objects an apple is heavier than a tomato a tomato is lighter than an apple a stone is heavier than a spoon a spoon is lighter than a stone When the pans are in the same position we understand that the objects on the two pans are of equal weight We buy vegetables wheat rice sugar fruits etc by measuring their weights we measure smaller weights in grams and bigger weights in kilograms we observe that a tumbler has more capacity than a spoon a bottle has less capacity than a bucket the capacity or the volume of a container depends on its size take sand in a spoon and pour it down on a newspaper sheet take sand in your hands and pour next to the previous heap take sand in a bowl and pour next to the two heaps compare the three heaps of sand and find which has the least capacity the spoon bowl or the two hands the spoon has the least capacity we buy oil milk petrol by measuring their volume capacity the smallest 
unit of capacity is milliliter. The standard unit for measuring liquids is liter. A calendar shows days, weeks and months of a year. Let us observe the calendar of 2011. There are seven days in a week. Sunday is the first day of the week. Saturday is the last day of the week. Let us say the days of the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. There are 12 months in a year. They are January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. A year has 365 days. We see that all months don't have the same number of days. Let us remember this by doing this activity. Fold the fingers of your left hand. With the index finger of your right hand, touch the knuckles and gaps of the left hand first, alternatively. At the same time, recite the names of all the 12 months. Months on the knuckles have 31 days and those in the gaps 30 days except February. The leap year which falls once in 4 years has 29 days in February. A leap year has 366 days. Our schools work from June to April. We have our vacation during May. Let us see some celebrations in a year. The Education Development Day is in July. Independence Day is in August. Teacher's Day in September. Christmas in December. Children's Day in November. Pongal and Republic Day in January. And Vacation in May. Do you know this year we celebrate Ramzan in the month of August. Choose the correct answer. The academic year starts in June. Independence Day is celebrated in the month of August. The first working day in a week is Monday. Teacher's Day is celebrated in the month of September. Education Development Day is celebrated in the month of July. Seasons Summer season, March, 
April, May and June. Rainy season July, August, September and October. Winter season November, December, January and February. In a year we experience three seasons. Let us know calendars based on different cultures. Tamil calendar. This is used by the Tamils. The first month is Thai and the last month is Margari. Islamic calendar. This is used by the Islam people. The first month is Muharram and the last month is Zul Hajj. Gregorian calendar. This is used by most of the people in the world. In India, we use this calendar. The first month is January and the last month is December. 